Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic careers job listing section in Divi's blog module. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So we're going to call this page careers, but of course you can call this page whatever you want. And then we're going to click on use Divi Builder. So I prefer designing my site on the front end builder. So we're going to come over here and uh, for this, we're going to build from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. And now let's start by working on our main section. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and let's start by adding our background to our section. So I'm going to click over here. And our background here is going to be a gradient. So I'm going to click on the second tab and then click on this plus button. And now it's time to add our colors. So the first color I'm going to add is going to come over here. I'm going to paste the value of the color. And then I'm also going to do the same for the second color. So I'm going to click over here and paste my color. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's continue here and go to our gradient direction. So I'm going to set this to 126 and pretty much that looks great. The next step now is to head over here to our bottom divider. So I'm going to click here on divider bottom and the style we're going to go with is this wavy style here. So I'm going to come over here, click on this drop down and here it is. Select that. And now we just need to tweak this a little bit. So we need to start here with the divider height. So here on divider height, we're going to set this to 8VW. And then the repeat horizontal, uh, we're going to set this to 3X. There we go. Right. And then the divider arrangement needs to be underneath section content. So make sure this is set to underneath the section content. Now let's head over here to spacing. So I want to click here on spacing. And what we're going to do here is just to add a bottom padding because right now, as you can see, things are really tight. So on the bottom padding here, we're going to set this to 200 and pretty much we're done. It's now time to add our rows. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to click on this plus button and add a single column. We're going to add a text module to, to this row. And in here, we're just going to add text which says career or careers. And we need to also set it to heading one like that. Now that we've set it like that, we need to go in and customize this text. So I'm going to come over here to design heading text and making sure we're on the heading one tab. Let's set our font here to monster Ant. and for the weight, we're going to set this to heavy. So we want this nice and strong and bold. Okay. Over here, we're going to add our color. So I'm going to set this to white so that it stands out on that background. And then it's time now to set our sizes. So for our heading size here, we're going to set it to eight. And while we're here, let's set our size for our tablet. And here is going to be four. And for the phone, it's going to be 2.5. There you go. Excellent. So now that we've uh, set all this, the next step now is to continue on and add a divider module. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my divider here and select it. Okay. So now we're going to uh, just make sure that show divider is set to yes. And then it's time now to customize this. So let's start here with our line color. So I'm going to click here on line and set my line here to white. So I'm going to go to my recently used colors here and here is my white. And then next I'm going to set my weight. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and for my divider weight, I'm going to set this to eight pixels and then my width to 30%. So we don't want it going all the way down there. Okay. So now that it's all set, uh, the next step now is to add my second section. So I'm going to save this. Click on this plus button and I'm going to add my regular section here. I'm going to add a single row. And in that row, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to search for text. And in here, we're going to add my text, which says marketing. And we're going to set this to heading two. Like that. Okay, so now that we've set um, our text to heading two, let's head over to the text settings. So I'm going to click here on design, heading text making sure you select the, the second tab here. 
I'm going to change this to monster right. And uh, again, we're going to set this to heavy. And then we're also going to set our text color here. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I am using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I've added my color, the next step here is to set my size. And here it's going to be 2.3 REM. So moving on, I'm going to save this. And then I'm also going to add a divider over here. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So making sure the divider is set to yes, because we want to see it. Uh, the next step now is to add color to our line. So I'm going to come over here to design line. And then I'm going to set my color and I'm just keeping all my colors consistent here. Okay, so now that I have my line in place, let's head over here to the weight. So I'm going to click on sizing and we'd like to make this a bit thicker. So let's set it to about six. And our maximum width this time is going to be 80 pixels. There we go. All right, so the next step now is to just save this. And we are going to add a blog module over here. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And I'm going to search for it and select it. Ideally, we want this blog module below that line. So I am going to move this around once I'm done. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, we are going to go to our post type. And here you need to make sure it's set to posts. And uh, the categories here, in fact, what we may need to do is to set our category to marketing or whatever categories that you need here. So I'm just going to leave it here at current category and just um, set it like that. But in your case, you want to make sure that uh, you create your categories so that it's easier for you to choose them. Next, I am going to come over here to accept length and set this to 150 because we don't really want too much here. Okay, so now that we've set, to, set this to 150, let's head over to the elements. And over here on the elements, we need to show the read more button. And also here on the accepts, make sure that it says show accepts. So these are the only two things that we need. The rest, we're just going to disable by just clicking here on this toggle. And we also need to disable show pagination. So pretty much this is what it's going to look like. Now let's head over here to our design layout. And you need to make sure you're using the full width layout on there. And then let's go head over to our text settings. So here I'm going to go, I'm going to start with my title text. And here we need to change our fonts to Monster Rat. So I'm going to click on this drop down and choose my font here for my titles. And then I'm also going to set my title text size. So this is going to be 1.5. And then for our line height, I'm going to set it to 1 EM. And then next, we need to go to our body text. And for our body text, we're going to set our body font here to a railway. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Now let's set our size. And this is going to be 1.1 REM. And we also need to set our line height and this is going to be 2.1 rem so moving on we also need to customize the read more so i'm going to click here on read more and here we're going to set our font here to monster rat so i'm going to select it i'm going to make it uppercase and the text color here is going to be white so i'm going to go to my recent colors select my white color and we also need our text size and we're going to set this to one rem now let's head over here to spacing and what we need to do right away here is to set our left margin to 100 and for our padding top and bottom we're going to set this to zero so for our read more button we're going to add some css code to style it so i'm going to come over here to the advanced tab custom css and then we need to scroll down here to the read more button over here. So I'm going to paste my CSS code. Now, in your case, what you need to do, if you want to use the exact same CSS code I'm using here, is you need to go to the article that I'll link to in the show notes below, because that's what's going to have all this CSS code. So it will save you from just going in and typing all this out. All right, so now that I have this all set, I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to clone this as many times as I need. But to be honest, I don't really need to do this quite a lot. I'm pretty much happy with this. I just need to make sure that I drag this into position because this needs to be under the uh, the heading. So here we go. I'm just going to 
make sure it's under where it says marketing here. So here, now that we have marketing, if we duplicate this, you can change this to a different section. So we have marketing, this could be development. So I'm just gonna go in quickly here and just show you how you can do that. There we go, so I've just uh, changed this section. Now, what you need to do as well is to go in here and change the category to a different category. So, because if you leave the, if you leave it as it is as the top one, it will have the same content. So your blog posts need to be in specific categories. Like in this case, you need to have a category called development and another one called marketing. So that's how this is going to work. Now to finalize this design, we're going to add a code module here. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and uh, here's my code module. Now here we need to add this CSS code as well because what it does, it styles this. So you can see as soon as I've added it, it has now styled my blog post here. So this is what the CSS code does. So as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same CSS code, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So you can see here that looks really nice and uh, yeah, it looks really awesome. Now all we have to do is to save this and then let's do a quick preview. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna publish this, and then now it's time to take a look at our final design. So this is our final design. So you can see here as I scroll, it has all our listings. And it also has the ones for the development. But the key thing here is to make sure that you don't forget to use the CSS code because this is what's gonna make this have the nice final touches. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.